Welcome to another gameplay with World of Tanks. Uh, this is Gamer Dan. Um, today I'm doing a video on the T28 so concept. I purchased this as a um, part of a combo package, as you can see there. Um, it includes the Scorpion and the T28 concept. This is available just for a few days um, by Wargaming, and um, it looks like both tanks do come with uh, Binox and Camel Net, as well as some operations. Here's a few screenshots of the World of Tanks console companion. Um, goes over the stats there. I'm not going to go real in, in real detail in that. You can just pause that if you want. Take a further look at it. <clears throat> this is my excuse me. This is my very very first um, battle in the tank. Um, I looked at some online um, reviews or videos on the PC version of it, and just to kind of get an idea of what the tank's going to do. I understand that the traverse speed going left and right in the tank is not the greatest, but um, what I did was I, I I took out the crew that came with it. I reassigned it to another tank and put one of my better crews in here to kind of compensate for you know some of the some of the deficiencies I guess you can say. This tank does have really really good frontal armor um, and the weak spots are going to be the two turrets um, that you see on, on either side of the tank. Um, those are the weak spots there and of course the viewports that are on the on the roof there. Um, we're in a tier 7 match and just by looking at the at the tier 7's on the enemy team we have an advantage. Um, it does get up and go pretty decently. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't start real real sluggish. It it goes, and we're going uphill. And there's a T29 here next to me, and you can kind of see that I'm actually going up the hill a little bit easier. It seems like than he is. Um, the gun arc of the of the tank is actually not bad at all. Um, it basically goes from the front tip on one side to the other side, just about. Um, so you get a pretty decent gun arc there. Um, like I said, the front armor is really the strongest part of the tank. So when you turn a corner, um, if you angle your tank a certain way or, or just kind of like don't hug the, the wall of a building or whatever you're hugging, kind of be off it a little bit. So when you turn the corner, your frontal armor is, is your front your frontal armor is angled well, and uh, you can increase your armor effectiveness and also hide those two small turrets that are um, considered the weak spots. Kind of kind of show you what I mean here. You see, I'm not hugging the side of the building. I'm off a little bit, and when I turn into it and take a shot, the turret on my right is covered by the building. The turret on my left is mostly covered by my my uh, gun. Um, area or the front part of the tank. Um, like I said, this is my very, very first match. Um, don't really know how the tank's going to operate, and at this point, the game lags, and I realize it just a few seconds into the lag that it's lagging, so I'm just hoping that I don't take too much damage, and when the lag finishes, lo and behold, I have zero damage taken, so uh, I guess it worked out to my favor. I'm going to kind of let the game play out. Um, you can be the judge if, if this tank is for you or not. Um, like I said, this is my very first match in it. Um, I do have the results of my second match in the tank right after this video. I didn't record the, the second match because this was a pretty good first match in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> of course we are top tier and it's not. I'm not showing you a game where I'm like bottom of the, of the list or anything. but. Um, this this is just my first match. This is not an uh, in-depth review of what it would do on a higher tier. So I hope you enjoy, um, and uh, just leave it be at that.
Recon net deployed. Mission accomplished.